Hey YouTube, what's up? Ooh, it's here. I'm trying to fix my my picture just a little bit. Right there looks good, yeah? Alright, so tonight we have a few things to do. Um, but first, I have headphones in, so I'm gonna try and see if that um helps my my sound in this big room. I don't know. Just thought it was weird. The sound sounded weird. So we're gonna do a little bit of a um of a crafty kind of project thing. Um recently I've gone through an initiation with Belial. Um and so I am making an offering tray for him. I've already spray painted it um black and there's some stuff underneath the paint that we're not gonna talk about. But um, just to let you know, there's like you have to do it in, you know. Anyway, so, um, so you can't see his picture. That's just lovely. Um, I made a picture of him right here. And you can't see it. Anyways, so I have his sigil here. I'm gonna cut a sigil out and then we're going to put it on this tray. And this is gonna be like an offering tray. But before I do that, I have his candle right here. And so I'm going to be adding some oil drops to it. Um, and then we'll light that and then we'll, then we'll go from there. So, initiation with Belial. Yeah, that was crazy. Um, he was very, I don't want to say sweet. He's not sweet. He's very, um, very powerful, very intense, um, and amazing. Absolutely amazing would be a better word to use. Um, he came to me once before and had a bunch of, um, people, they're not people, but you know, spirits or whatever you want, whatever kind of beings they are, they were, I'm not sure, but he had them tell me, um, what to do and stuff. And I got so excited and crazy and I forgot everything that he said to me in the other realm and then by the time I got back all I could remember was his name and so I tried to do a little bit of research and then I decided that he was too powerful for me to just wing it you know that's not something you want to do you don't want to be disrespectful especially when they're coming to you and telling you exactly what they want from you and how they want you to do it and so um here is his sigil. You can see it. And we're going, I'm going to be putting it right in the middle. I was going to put it like up close so I could put his candles and all of his offerings, you know, up here and still have his sigil here. But I think it's, it just belongs in the middle, I think. Yeah. It's so pretty. Anyways, Belial. He's very intense, and um, while I was going through my initiation with him, um, my dogs wouldn't come near me. It was so intense, and I was like, "Oh, my dogs are scared, and they won't come. They won't come in here with me." And just like that, he brought them in, and they came right in. But they were like, oh, I'm not going in there. And then he, he made them and they were like there. And I was like, oh, mm -hmm. <laughs> it's kind of, it's kind of funny. <laughs> and I wasn't scared or anything. I was just, um, I just didn't know what to do. I was just like, what do I do? What do I do? 
he's here. Oh my gosh, what do I do? Um, okay. So I just, I just didn't know. And Hecate just kind of, I was asking her questions about him, wanting to know certain things about him, like um, if he's in my family. Oh, seriously, I can't get this open? Oh no. Um, if he's in my family, if my family was using working with him and stuff like this. And so I was asking a bunch of questions to her about him. And she was just like, ask him yourself. And then bam, he was there. And I was just like, oh shit. He's here. Okay. And then uh, we did an energy exchange and it lasted hours. Um I want to say like I channeled him for a while and then um, I wanted I wanted something and he it was done immediately he said it's done like within and I didn't ask him like verbally um I was just I just I was thinking it and he he knew what I was thinking and so he was just like it's done. It is done. And I was like, thank you. Thank you. When you do initiation with him, it's like, it's so, the energy is so intense that you, you, you whisper. You know, you talk like this. And I kind of felt it all day today, all last night. Um, I think I slept for a few hours. And then... I was up and I was just like, okay, gosh, I hope I can get this open. Otherwise this whole video is going to be ruined. Oh, I got it. Yay. Okay. All right. I always put it on these little um, plastic plates and then put a little bit of water on the brush and then I just stick a pageant on there or whatever it's called. What's it called? Hodge Podge. All right, I'm going to put this down here first so that it kind of holds it on there, you know. And yeah, so... Yay, we're doing an offering tray for the vials. Okay. See, I want to handle things on the sides. Okay, and so I don't know if I'm supposed to do this, but I feel like I should put blood on this. But I'm not going to. I'm going to um, just do it like it is. And then when I make his oils, I'll put blood in that if he wants me to. Well, he can tell me. And then I'll do it, you know. Whatever he wants. But yeah, so. Um, and then after this, after I'm done making this, I'm going to be um, going outside into the super moon and um, doing a little magic with him. We're going to be I'm taking his candle out there and his new tray, this tray, even though it's not going to be dry, that's okay. It's just going to, nothing's going to be on it. I'll probably have it on a stand or something. I want it to charge in the moon and, and I'm going to um, ask him to bless it and 
you know, all that good stuff consecrated. And then, I don't know why I'm putting this all over, but okay. I don't need to, I just need to show you how to do this. So, So that's what it looks like right now and then um, after this dries it should dry pretty quickly um, I'll put it next to the heat uh, but after this dries then I'll probably put some clear over it if he wants clear over it and um, I have a nice little thing of clear and yes so this will be his tray and his candles and his you know, his picture and his candles and all of his things will be on this tray. Um, and yeah. I don't want you to be all weird. Let's see. Make sure I don't have any bubbles in there. I was going to put like a pentagram underneath this, but I'm not going to because um, I tried to do a little bit of research on it and I couldn't find one single um, picture or anything in his books and stuff on a pentagram with his sigil in the middle, so I just I just left it, and um, and it's it's just fine like this. It's beautiful. It's perfect. But anyways, so he's very intense, but amazing, and um, yeah, I wasn't afraid or anything. He's he was just he's just a really strong presence, you know, and. Um, you just have to be prepared for that if you're going to work with him and not not allow that to scare you or you know it's kind of I don't, I don't want to say don't be intimidated but by all means you need to be respectful um, and remember he's not one to be disrespectful to I mean I'm not disrespectful to any DD ever I always um, treat them all with respect and and you know because I believe that you get what you give so anyways all right you guys that's it for this video it's short sweet and I'll be back in a little while and um, I have things set up outside and if it's not windy then we're gonna do it outside outside but if it's too windy we'll have to do it in on the enclosed area at the shop and I have all all everyone's breakup spells everyone's curse all the stuff is out there all the curses are out there um, and I'm going to be I have to um, dress another not this candle but another candle for Belial and I'm going to be asking his for his assistance his energy even though he already gave it to me I'm just going to be you know honoring him and um, asking for permission to you know use his energy to make them all be complete I know some of them already are but I don't want to like pick through them and be like, is this one done? Is that one done? No, I don't want to do any of that. So tonight's going to be it for the curses, for all the curses that I have. If I've done a curse for you, it's out there. And um, tonight will be it. I'm finishing them all tonight with Belial. And then um, tomorrow um, I'll be going out and finding a great big hole to dump them all in. Um, and they're, they're all just going to go out there together in a big hole somewhere up in the mountains. 
Um, I would put them at the crossroads, but by the graveyard, but there's just been um, too much activity over there. And for some reason they keep getting dug up. Like animals are like literally digging them up. And so they're just like all over. And so I, I had to go out there and pick them all up and rebury them. And it's kind of funny. But so I don't know if the coyotes got a hold of them or what, but um, yeah, the those coyotes are little stinkers. So anyways, I know a really good place um, in the canyon kind of thing. And um, yeah, that's where they're going to be. And so anyways... But tonight's the last night for all the curses that I have currently have. I'm not saying I'm not going to ever do any more curses because obviously I am. Um, but yeah, so that's it. Peace out, you guys. I'll see you in a little while. Hopefully, if he'll let me. I'm sure, I'm sure he will. I'm sure it will be fine. But um, okay, see you in a few. Bye.